Ronald Earl Coppedge Sr. I'm the Civil and Human Rights Chairman along with Sister Gina Perry, Local 551 UAW Ford Motor Company. On February 17th, we're having a Black History event. Um, the theme is unity in our communities. I just um, seen that there was a, a certain sense of an SOS that needed to be put out. At the event, we're, we're, we're utilizing a, a lot of our um, union brothers and sisters at the plant. We have um, poets there. I want to utilize some of those brothers and sisters. We have DJ there, a few DJs there. I want to utilize that brother. Um, we have some chefs there. Um, even, even the menu is connected to black history. It's going to be awesome. Um, it's going to be some fellowship. It's going to be some information as well as some inspiration and some 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 history given. Um, point point at hand. Um, um, give you a little bit of history right here. A little UAW history and Black history. A lot of people like Bob Marley, international superstar. Little do people know that Bob Marley used to be a UAW member. He worked in Chrysler, Delaware at the Chrysler plant in PNL. So it's a little bit of black history mixed with UAW history. And UAW is de definitely connected to black history and civil rights. Civil and hum the Civil and Human Rights Committee uh, is, a, is a wonderful committee. Um, Sister Jenna Perry, uh, along with Tracy Potter, along with Rhonda, along with the entire committee bunch of very compassionate people and I'm quite sure you're probably compassionate as well who would like a bully or, or would want to see someone being bullied if you're willing to intervene in someone being bullied well you're about civil and human rights you understand we're fighting for civil rights and this is the year 2018 we shouldn't have to fight for human rights civil rights is fundamentally a should be a human trait you understand it's it's a right so it's just a bunch of group of people that came together collectively to beat up on or to hold bullies accountable for their actions you understand and that's what it is and i'm just proud to be a part of this committee black history month it actually stems excuse me from black history week which was started by carter g woodson in 1926 he was with the Association for the Studies of Negro History. They announced the second week of February to be Black History Week. Fast forward to 1976, every U.S. president after then has said Black History Month would be the entire month of February. So even us having this event on the second week of February has some historical value to it and some significance. It'd be an awesome time. It gives us a time to come together and celebrate. It seems as though um, the majority of the time that black people are, are coming together is because of funerals or something that is happening. You understand that, that's, that has traumatized the community. This gives us an opportunity to really um, get together and celebrate one another's accomplishment as well as our forefathers accomplishment, learn a little bit more about them, um, have some food, some fun, some festivities, get some, some music as well. The event is held, will be held the second week of February, February 17th, 6 o'clock, 13550 South Torrance Avenue at the Hamby Hall, UAW Local 551 Hall. Come there, get your plate, get you some information and some inspiration, it'll be great.